good day to all modern functions of commercial banks the primary functions of commercial banks are accepting deposits and also lending funds deposits are savings current or time deposit also lends funds to its customers in the form of loans and advances cash credits overdraft and discounting of bills nowadays the commercial banks provides various types of modern functions they are <coughs> teller system under this system when a customer presents a check a counter clerk will make a payment immediately in a big metropolitan cities the bank provides this facility to the customers so that they need not wait for a long time for withdrawal of money the counter clerk will have the specimen signature of the customer and upload account caught by his side as soon as the customer present a check banker will be able to make payment immediately the next function is atm called as automatic teller machine in this system the customer can withdraw money by using credit card the customer who wants to avail atm facility will be given a code number which will be kept secret by himself on this basis of credit limit a customer is allowed to draw a money up to 40 percentage of his credit in this system it does not involve the signature of the customer it is important for the customer to keep his credit card on the pin safely or else anybody who comes to know of the pin and who gets hold of the credit card can withdraw money without the knowledge of the customers the third function provided by the banking to its customer is home banking instead of going to the bank for withdrawal of money or for depositing of checks a customer can do his banking business by sitting at home for this purpose a personal computer of the customer will become computer of the customer will be connected with the banker's computer through a network the customer will have a secret code for operating his account from his name he will instruct the bank for different payments similarly he will also receive credit from his debtors thus in course of time home banking will minimize the usage of documents the next function is green card in india credit card facility is given to the farmers by issue of green card to them this will enable them to buy all their inputs by using the credit cards they can buy seeds fertilizers and pesticides through this cards thus the bankers providing credit card to the farmers by this green card factoring commercial banks in india are undertaking factoring business under this the bills drawn by customers on the buyer will be handed over to the banks for collection the bank will pay 80% of the value of the bill to the customers and the balance 20% will be paid after realizing the bill from the buyer for this purpose the bank will be paid factoring commission SBI and uh, Canara Bank were the two banks which initially started factoring business other banks are now undertaking factoring businesses mutual funds to enable customers to avail the benefits of investments banks in india have started mutual funds the savings of customers are invested in mutual funds by purchase of units after mobilizing the funds invest 
the same in various companies securities every day the bank will give the value of the units in the form of net present value which is calculated by the total value of the investment divided by the total number of units this npv may change according to the fluctuations of the market value that is the endeavor of every bank to maintain a higher npv the next function is electronic clearing system called as ecs the telephone charges are being paid through this system the banks are connected to the telephone department through a network by which the telephone charges of the customers are paid the customers will present the telephone bills to the bank which intimates electronically to the telephone department and the bills are paid by the bank gold and platinum card generally customers are given credit card facility through the banks according to their credit worthiness the purchase of the customers are restricted up to the available credit and this limit is exhausted customers who are very rich and who have high social status will be provided gold or platinum card for this purpose the bank will have detailed investigation of the person for whom the gold or platinum card is to be used and this card holder can purchase in any part of the world gold banking the scheme introduced in 2000 2001 budget year by the union finance minister and sbi is the first bank in india to introduced gold deposit scheme around 13000 tons of gold are estimated to be available in india out of 13000 tons sbi has initially received 14.54 from 3051 individuals sbi setting up a separate subsidiary unit for the purpose of gold banking e banking it refers to electronic banking wherein the entire operations are done by the customer through his customer computer system by using a code which maintains secrecy of the transactions the customer will be instructing the bankers through the computer with regard to transfer investment and repayment of loans by this the use of check very much minimize and the customer will be able to contact the bankers or his particular branch of any part of the world innovative banking when banks deviate from their traditional function of accepting deposits and lending for various activities such functions comes under innovative banking but the term innovative banking refers to the new measures taken by the bank in extending banking assistance to certain new areas which were hitherto not undertaken in india particularly after the nationalization of major scheduled banks in 1969 banks started lending to certain new areas which were hitherto neglected for example loans given to weaker sections to self employment schemes and also to manual rickshaw pullers for switching over to power driven vehicles innovative banking is not only extend their operations in new areas but increase the productivity of the borrowers because of the introduction of new technology core banking last but not least it is a device whereby a bank will link all its branches through a network system 
In this method, the customer will be able to operate his account in any of branches of the particular bank. Under core banking, the account number of customer will have 10 digits. This enables customer operate his account throughout the country. Through this, transfer of funds, collection of checks are made easy and both the customer as well as banker benefited as there will be increasing activity of banking operations with fewer cash transactions. In a way, this will prevent the generation of an account in money. Thank you.